human space flight that is considered the last frontier in space. India is laying the first steps for its astronaut program with a crew module being launched atop the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark III. I have with me Dr. K. Radhakrishnan, chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. Dr. Radhakrishnan, why is this crew module being flown? We are going through the development of certain critical technologies that are essential for taking up a human spaceflight program as and when the country decides to do so. One of the important elements is to have the crew module tested for its safe re-entry into atmosphere. At that point, the crew module will be experiencing very high thermal fluxes and we need to protect that. So in this GSLV Mark III experimental mission, we are using a crew module, taking that up to an altitude of nearly 120 kilometers, and that would have achieved a velocity of nearly 5.3 kilometer per second. At that time, we eject the crew module, and as it comes down, we study the behavior of it, and finally, as it splashed down in the Bay of Bengal, try to recover it and uh, inspect it and study what is performance. So, so are th will there be astronauts in this? Because you, your crew module is can carry two or three astronauts. So in this experimental flight, will there be astronauts? This experimental flight will not have any human being. It will have the instrumentation necessary to study the re-entry characteristics. But this crew module, the way it has been sized and shaped is expected to take two or three astronauts, but we need to equip that with the necessary environmental control and life support system in the future. So when can one expect Indian astronauts to be launched from Sriharikota into space and then brought back into the Bay of Bengal or the Arabian Sea? Apart from the decision to go ahead in that direction, we need to also do a lot of developmental activities, first to have a very reliable launch vehicle with that capacity. We have to have the crew escape system, we need to have the crew module with the environmental control and life support system, the facilities for training the astronauts, etc. It's easily a task of uh, seven to eight years. So that was Dr. Radhakrishnan telling us that the crew module this time is being flown without astronauts. It will test the technology and show that India can make a re-entry from, from atmosphere and then splash down in the Bay of Bengal. With camera person Ravi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.